Carlo, who would be going into this game as the underdogs, perhaps, but hoping to emulate the achievements of their top club side, Aero Og, over the past 12 months. The commentator on this game is Marty Morrissey. Three of the Aero Og side that played in the All-Ireland Club Final are in the Carlo team for Leinster duty today. Centre-back Noel Fallon makes his championship debut in a defence that contains incredibly five players making their first ever appearance for Carlo in a championship match. Garvin Ware is in his customary position in midfield, while Joe Hayden wears the number 10. The home team make no less than three positional switches and introduce two newcomers to championship football. Sean Colnan returns after a three-month suspension to right corner back for his first championship game, while in attack, James Grennan gets the number 12 jersey and joins Kevin Gung and Dennis Kelly in the half-forward line. Pat O'Toole from the Forkney Club and Connie Longford is the match referee as Offaly and Carlo play here in Tullamore in a match on a day where there's a slight breeze cross field more than anything else. And for big foot forward Tom Cullen to reach and he's fouled by Ken Keelahan so the first free for Carlo. This is Johnny Nevin who reportedly is quite a good free taker and his first attempt sails over the crossbar. So after three minutes of play, Johnny Nevin opens Carlo's account. It's an interesting tactic by Carlo manager Johnny Teague, Brian Teague rather, because he's using young Johnny Nevin as an extra midfielder. So Carlo obviously intend to crowd midfield and create space for their two other corner forwards, Willie Quinlan. And that, in fact, was Willie Quinlan blocking down the ball. Here's Offaly now. Oh, it's done, and it's an easy ball, and Carlo has split open the... Carlo defence, Offaly still put the pressure on. Oh, oh, brilliantly saved by Joe Broderick, but the referee, in fact, had blown his whistle. Joe Broderick, that was some save. The referee had deemed that the Offaly men had picked the ball off the ground just before that. Willie Quinlan to Johnny Nevin. Certainly Carlo have started brightly. Remember, they're in enemy territory as such. This back to Willie Quinlan. Oh, yes, indeed. Carlo have started with a flourish. This is Vinnie Claffey. And eventually the clearance comes from Finbar Cullen. It's a good ball as well. To Sean Brennan. Centre half forward Dennis Kelly. Trying to find Kevin Gung. And that's a terrible ball. Garvin Ware has all the time in the world to give it out to Jason Hughes. Fallon and Branna in Connie Carlo. The confidence to take on these awfully lads. Quickly taken to Johnny Nevin. Referee again gives the free. And again, Carlo take it quickly. Sean Kavner cutting inside Vinnie Claffey. In a good position for a right-footed kicker, and that's a lovely point. Sean Kavner from Radville makes it three points for Carlo, and Offaly, after six and a half minutes of play, have yet to register a single score. Punched away, and back to Garvin Ware. Carlo have settled very well. Jason Hughes, this Carlo half back line, are coming forward at every opportunity. Young Jason sending it down towards Joe Hayden being marshalled by Corey Gordon and for some for a foul for holding there the referee has given another free to Carlo Johnny Nevin second attempt and the second success it's two points for Johnny Nevin Carlo four points Brian T the Carlo manager just making a few positional switches the breaking ball and it comes to Carlo almost. And eventually it's a ball up towards Peter Brady. He's the man that Carlo will have to watch and defend very tightly. The first opportunity really for Offaly sent over by Cahill Wright after 11 minutes of play. Berkley Hannon. And Miley Byrne, Miley Jordan unable to keep it in. Well won by Cahill Ryan. Surely held by Pat Whelan. Well, that's a second free for Offaly. 
Peter Brady taps that one gently over the crossbar. It's four points to two. 15 minutes gone in the first half. It's good play by Carlo. Sean Kavner. Riley Jordan wasn't quite expecting it. Awfully. They capitalize on the air. Finbar Cullen giving it to Carl Ryan, and really that's a terrible ball. Didn't even look where he was sending it to Carl Ryan. Carlo build again. And Miley is finding it hard to hold on to it. This is a good run by Vinnie Claffey. And Vinnie Claffey puts it over the bar. And slowly but surely, Offaly knocked down Carlo's lead. And Carlo introduce a substitute. This is Pascal Doran, who won a league medal with Leash a number of years ago. Over to James Grennan. Coming through is Porrick Morn in the middle. And dispossessed cleanly by Johnny Nevin. It's good play by Carlo. He holds on to it until somebody is loose and free. That happens to be Tom Cullen. Back to Johnny Nevin. Nice little player, Johnny Nevin. Half locked down. Mike Bailey coming in late, and Ken Keelahan comes away with it. Refney Hannon. Reading it well, however, is Pat Whelan. To Garvin Ware. Awfully in a little bit of trouble now at midfield. They've lost the initiative. Garvin Ware bending it, but not bending it sufficiently enough. This ball comes out towards Vinnie Caffey. Well added to Down towards Peter Brady. John Carey is now on him. John Carey trying to keep him out. Cahill Ryan. Going back to Kevin Gunn. Into the centre is centre half forward Dennis Kelly. And the sides are level. And it took 23 minutes in the first half to achieve that target. Offaly introduce David Foley. And it looks like this James Grennan that's coming off. Oh, immaculate fielding. The big Offaly number nine, Sean Grennan. Finbar Cullen. Center half forward, Dennis Kelly. Offaly now with an opportunity. And that's a very good score by the super sub himself, David Foley, just introduced moments ago. Plenty of Offaly players there. Sean Cullen loses out, however, to Johnny Nevin. Joe Hayden is calling for the quick ball inside. Nice ball by Johnny Nevin. Hayden cutting inside, held by the Offaly defender. Another free for Carlo. Now Johnny Nevin has had two attempts from this side of the pitch. This is his third, and on each occasion, he's put it over the crossbar. His third point of the afternoon. Sides are level once more. Good calling by Pat Whelan. Sends the ball into space towards Tom Cullen. If they have directed that a little bit better, it certainly would have put Offaly under tremendous pressure. As it is, they still have Johnny Nevin to deal with. Now it's Joe Hayden. Sends it in. Oh, that's a lovely score by Joe Hayden. Smokey Joe, they call him in Carlo Town. And certainly he's smoking good in Tullamore. Lovely point. Look out aimed at Sean Cullen. Here come Offaly once more. Being put under a lot of pressure. That pressure resulting in possession being given away and it being used far more effectively by Carlo. Joe Hayden. Inside is Willie Quinlan. Outside is Sean Kavna. Joe Hayden is there once more. Danger not gone yet for Offaly. Sean Cullen coming away with it. Ken Keelahan is available. 
Referee right up with play, and the referee has blown his whistle. Willie Quinlan's shot there coming off the crossbar. And he's given the free to Carlo for an illegal pass. This should be a relatively easy one for Johnny Nevin. Puts plenty of height into it to make it his fourth point. And Carlo now with a two-point advantage. Just four minutes now to the half-time. Carlo have re-established their early superiority. And it looks good on the scoreboard for them at the moment. Nice play, good approach work. Tom Cullen losing it and then gaining it again. Former Carlo fullback for many years. Question number three there for Offaly. The referee says no. Can Carlo capitalize? Ball comes in towards Joe Hayden and between the, the two of them, except from Johnny Nevin, they mess it up. Comes back. Carlo putting Offaly under an awful lot of pressure. And for another throw ball there, this time by a Carlo player. Sean Kavner, the guilty party. It's a free for Offaly. David Foley. Pascal Doran. A little bit haphazard in his clearance there, and it comes to Peter Brady. He was fouled by John Carey. Peter going to take this and drop it casually over the crossbar. That's two points for Peter Brady and six points for Offaly. And Offaly finding it very hard to get their attack in any sort of a rhythm as Frank Bailey sits up Garvin Ware. Across to Noel Fallon. The air roll combination is still there. This is Willie Quinlan. Oh, superb point by Willie Quinlan. A pair that is now transferred to Air Rogue and will be playing with them in the Carlo Championship. Willie Quinlan, great point. Kevin Gunn. It's a good testing ball. John Murphy and the Carlo backs have to go back for it. It's gathered by Carl Robb. Joe Broderick, wonderful save. A man from Timberland in County Carlo has certainly come to his side's rescue there. The long ball came in and the Carlo full back line we're in sixes and sevens chasing after it. And it was Carl Ryan who fought bravely for it. And isn't that a wonderful save by Joe Broderick? Peter Brady. Oh, he's a lovely kicker of a ball. And he's got the accuracy as well. And on that wonderful kick by Peter Brady, Offaly keep themselves very much in contention and go in half time just one point behind. A rather large crowd looking on here at O'Connor Park Tullamore as the second half begins. Are we in line for a little bit of a shock in O'Connor Park Tullamore? Pat O'Toole throws the ball in. Offaly will certainly have to establish themselves quickly at the start of the second half. Alright, done. Right back towards Ronan Looney. And that is the equaliser. Offaly and Carlo level at eight points each. Right down the middle. Pascal Dorn knocking it down towards Garvin Ware. Noel Fallon unable to pick up the loose ball. The referee now gives Noel the prey. Quickly taken by Noel himself, giving it to Sean Kavner. Chased and harassed by Vinnie Claffey. Despite Claffey's best efforts, Sean Kavner gets his second point of this Leinster Championship match. And that is one of the finest. Knocked away from the Offaly man and the John Noel Fallon is the man who was injured and Noel is gone down and he feels the pain of it because he immediately called for attention. Noel Fallon 
up and ready to resume giving it to Garvin Ware crossfield to Sean Kavner knocked down Farrick Dunn oh no foul and well won Pascal Doran Sean Kavner is to his left Carlo playing with great confidence ball inside and well gathered by Ken Keelahan Oh, there's confidence for you. Giving it back to Vincent Egan. It's not a great clearance because Garvin Ware is coming in, but it works out fine for Offaly. Sending it down towards Tom Coffey. Peter Brady, oh, lovely play by Offaly. Carl Ryan, front of the post, and he sends it incredibly wide. The miss of the championship match so far. And Carlo introduced substitute Tom Nolan. Another one of their old players. The loose ball comes down to Sean Kavner. Carlo have players of great potential. But that is certainly not one of the wisest decisions they ever made, giving it straight to Finbar Cullen. Well gathered by Peter Brady. Ball inside to Sean Grennan. John Murphy holding on to it for dear life. Coming away with it. And given the free, quickly down towards Willie Quinlan. And this tactic of using the corner forward as an extra midfielder has worked quite well for Carlo. Referee has given the free to Carlo, despite the fact that Frank Bailey had the loose ball. Carlo midfielder Garvin Ware. Hitting it well. Comes down towards Tom Nolan. And surely he's held. Very much so, yes. Good decision by the referee. It's a free for Carlo. Just to the right of the post. An opportunity to put them two points in front. Well, Johnny Nevin has four points to his credit so far. Make it five. And Carlo are two points in front. Ten points to eight. Garvin Ware unable to hold on to it, but Brefney Hannon does. Giving it back to Noel Fallon. And again the low ball, but this time equal to it is Dennis Kelly. Well won by Pat Whelan. John Murphy. Pascal Doran. These may be unfamiliar names, but if they can achieve victory in Tullamore, Carlo players could well be on the way to another historic voyage. Can it happen? That's the question. Carl Ryan. Awfully say no way on their home pitch. Vinnie Claffey. Peter Brady. Oh, lovely play. Giving it back to Vinnie Claffey. Point on here. And he takes it. Good score. And that's the second point for the right half back. Well done by Corrig Dunn. Giving it back towards David Foley. Side nicely. Poor effort at the end of it all. John Murphy, rather carelessly, lashes it out over the sideline. Sean Pallant. This is Tom Coffey. In fact, that's a very good point indeed. Once more, the sides are level. Sean Grennan, this time the point scorer for Offaly. So Hayden, oh, excellent play. Down towards Johnny Nevin. Now, can Carlo open up this Carlo defence? Pascal Jordan giving it inside. That's a very good ball. Down towards Tom Nolan, but well won by Ken Kielahad. And the referee has blown his whistle and given him a free. Quickly taken. Ronan Mooney. Corrig Morton willing to run at the Carlo defence now. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Noel Fallon fouling the Offaly man this time. And giving a free to the left half back. A vital free for Cahal Ryan. The sides level at 10 points each, remember. He's dropping dangerously in, and Joe Broderick once more. Par excellence. 
really does play confidently between the posts. Rafi Hannan giving the ball away very easily. So easily, in fact, that it gives the advantage to Offaly. Point on here, and there it is. A very good score. And Offaly take the lead once again, thanks to Vinnie Claffey. Knocked away by Corey Gorn. The race between Peter Brady. Brady has it. And he takes his point. Two very quick points by Offaly. Peter Brady with his fourth point. Puts Offaly now 12 points to 10 in front. Brian Teague thinking about introducing another substitute for Carlo. Joe Broderick with the kick out. Well gathered. Down to Park Morn. Easy one for John Murphy, at least it should be. Pat Whelan. Lead into space where there's no Carlo jersey. Corrick Dunn is there. Ken Keelahan. Again, the target is Peter Brady. Now Brady has it. Pahal Ryan. Sending it dangerously across. Comes back outside. Joe Broderick, wonderful save. Once again, the Carlo custodian has brought out one pass save after another. That had goal written all over it. Peter Brady sending in the dangerous ball, and when the ball broke, an awfully man was there, and it looked like a certain goal, but Broderick advanced bravely. Free by Peter Brady. Hits it well, and puts it straight over the bar. Point number five for Mr. Brady from Eat Derry. And now, Offaly lead by three points. And certainly, Offaly have, in the final minutes or so, come to terms with this Carlo threat. John Murphy advances. Gives it to Noel Fallon. Being held by Sean Grennan. Not sufficient distance back. So there'll be an extra few metres. Pascal Doran available this side. Sides to go. Sideline route. And is held by Sean Conlan. Pascal Doran again. And he across to Johnny Nevin. Can Carlo produce a goal now? Nevin. Going for the point. Dropping in under Vincent Deegan's crossbar. And he does well. But it's not a good clearance. Tom Nolan sending it back. Grabbed. Back out. First Johnny Nevin to Joe Hayden. Sending it a deflection there and out for a 45. Garvin where to take the 45. They really need to create a score out of this. But instead of that, Garvin drives it very much to the right and right. Noel Fallon latching onto it. Carlo are not dead and gone yet. And Fallon, like a true leader, comes forward to try and create extra space. He's held. Wanted to take it quickly. There's nobody really running for him. So Johnny Nevin comes across. Johnny Nevin. Five points in this match. And he gets his sixth point. Carlo now with 11 points. Two points behind Offaly. Goes all the way to Sean Grennan. Peter Brady. One for Joe Broderick. Offaly maintain possession. James Mullen. Bring it back to Tom Coffey, and he sends it wide. Still, injury time continues. 
line ball properly. Aspen Doran receiving a knock there. down. John Murphy leaving it for Sean Kavner. Sending a terrible ball over to us, Joe Hayden. Well won by Corey Gordon. It's a light ball for Carlo. Still injury time continues. The referee now says enough is enough. Awfully go through to the championship semi-final. Despite the best efforts of Carlo goalkeeper Joe Broderick, who brought off at least three brilliant point-blank saves. It's a performance that Offaly will have to improve on. The final score here in Tullamore, Offaly 13 points, Carlo 11. Well, yes, Offaly through to the Leinster semi-finals, but not quite with the ease that many people had expected here today. A battling performance by Carlo, but well like Wicklow yesterday, ending up with no reward. For the second game here at Tullamore with the meeting of Dublin and...